A sudden and unexpected gust of wind so violent to divert an aircraft during takeoff or landing and cause it to fall. This phenomenon is called wind shear and is especially dangerous for airports located in areas with discontinuous altimetry, which are particularly vulnerable due to their orographic nature. For these airports, monitoring of wind shear is essential for the safety of operations. Vitrochezit has developed AWAS, a pneumometric wind shear alarm system that, through real-time detection of wind shear phenomena and dissemination of the corresponding alarms within the airport area, represents an essential tool for pilots and ATC operators. AWAS is based on the algorithm developed by the University Corporation for Atmospheric Research and is officially approved by the Federal Aviation Association. AWAS acquires and processes weather data, alarms, and messages according to the most updated ICAO and WMO recommendations. AWAS measures wind direction, intensity, and speed at different points of the airport in order to identify and report the risk of wind shear and microbursts with the ICAO standard codes. The video shows a real case occurred on October the 14, 2011 at the airport of Reggio Calabria, Tito Miniti. The wind shear alarm is generated when sensors indicate differences in wind directions and speeds. The video shows a case in which all the sensors, except the number 5, detect winds in southeast direction. The sensor 5 detects winds in west-southwest direction. Therefore, AWAS determines the risk of wind shear, locating it properly in the dangerous areas. The message appearing in the control tower shows, for each runway of the airport, the official ICAO code. Event type, wind shear or microburst, speed of the wind in knots, localization of the event on the runway or external to it, for example, one mile final. AWAS weather stations and sensors can be controlled and maintained remotely, thus facilitating their management even in situations where such stations are hardly accessible, with important advantages in terms of the reduced operating costs.